have reached the voicemail box of The Big Bets on Campus Podcast. Leave a message after the bleep. Not really sure who I'm more mad at, Colin. You are f***ing minor nation. What in the hell? I'm in a tough spot because I really, really love when the guitar strums and the old El Paso song starts, but holy fuck, this team f***ing stinks. Turned it over six times. How do you do that? And the defense is making Hank Bachmeyer look like Johnny f***ing Unitas. Picks up. Go Minor Nation. Good Saturday morning, Minor Nation. I got to ask, what happened? Because I'm, I'm trying to keep up on my phone. It's looking pretty good. 10 6, second quarter. And then I get up this morning, see his sack all across my phone. It's just like Boise, 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 Boise. Minor Nation has to call in. He's kind of been a fair weather guy, to be honest. I only hear from him when they cover. I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't hear from Minor Nation Monday morning. I can't believe I f***ing did it. I put a bet on f***ing Utah, and I got what I deserve. Six f***ing turnovers. Wowee. Picks up? They should take those picks and shove them right up their ass. Colin, stuck. John from Long Island. Yeah, it's about 340 here on the East Coast. But I would be remiss if I didn't call and say, Whoopee! I don't even have a fucking voice. But horns down, baby! Let's fucking go, Colin! By the way, last week I had Houston plus one and a half against Texas Tech, and they just took a fucking shit in the second half. Like, I was completely with Stuck when he was talking about how Holgerson just made no fucking adjustments in half. And now this week I take Rice plus eight. Houston has no problem with Rice. Where the f*** was this last week, Holgerson? You gotta be fucking kidding me, buddy. Fuck you. Lincoln Riley, are you f***ing kidding me? This is coming directly from Boomer Sooner Nation. You haven't showed up for a second half, I don't know, ever in your f***ing life. How about last week against Tulane? Let's go vanilla. This week, Eastern Carolina, the total's 24 and a half. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Let's get that f***ing first down with under two minutes left. Nah, you know what? We can kneel on it. We'll land on 24. We'll make some people happy. Let's make it 75 to f***ing Eastern Carolina. That's who you're running that up against. Iowa State money line to complete my parlay. But wait, Brock Purdy in September? Three picks gets pulled? Iowa only average under three yards per play, and they kick the sh** out of Iowa State because Brock Purdy f***ing blows. F*** you, Brock Purdy. God. All right, first off, what the f*** was that play call from Buffalo? Fourth and three from the Nebraska 30, and you decide to take a f***ing field goal when you're down, what, 17? How dumb do you have to f***? be. I mean, go for it. What the fuck's the field goal going to do? Fucking go for it. And Scott Frost, what a fucking bitch he is. Up 17, six minutes left in the game, and he goes for a fucking touchdown just to run the score up. Fuck you, Scott Frost. I hope you get fired in two weeks. Go fuck yourself, Scott Frost. Colin, Stucky, walking out of Jack Trice Stadium. Gave you a call Friday afternoon and let you know you were wrong and that it was all about the Hawks. And, uh, yep, Hawkeye State once again. Can't wait to bet Brock Purdy in October, though. Brock Tober, Brock Tober. Hey, guys. Nash from Colorado here. This CU team is such a f***ing fraud, and Texas A&M is just blowing this every opportunity that they can. How does that guy fumble at the f***ing goal line? The one opportunity that they get, they f- fumble. This is unbelievable. If CU continues to win, I can't wait to fade this team. They are such a f***ing fraud. Ah, this is f***ing frustrating. I rode with you, Stucky. I keyed in Ohio State money line in at least two, possibly three parlays, and they f***ing did it. The f***ing Ohio State University running defense is the worst thing that I've ever f***ing seen, and Kelly Coombs 
you can ride your fucking bike home, you fucking loser. At least Rocky Lombardi sucks and one Pokes team can come through for us. Roll Wyoming. Stucky Colin and my boy, producer Mitchell. It's good to hear you guys. It's Martin, formerly from Chicago. Here's what I want to talk about. Kerry Combs is a f***ing disgrace. Can you imagine putting your f***ing polo on, jumping around with recruits? I'm going to teach you to suck I'm going to teach you to fail at the horseshoe after 653 f***ing days. Imagine the embarrassment that that clown, he should be fired right now, fired and urinated on. Also, Brett McMurphy's a disgrace, but I love you guys. Goodbye. Dylan from Austin at the stadium right now, walking out. Every fan in the building's can't move big. Haven't seen an ass kicking like that in a long time. As a uh, Texas fan, embarrassing, humiliating, but uh, we're going to take it on the chin and hope that uh, we look a little bit better come conference time. Colin, might see you out tonight. I hope so, but uh, God, I hope we look better than we did tonight next time we see us. So, welcome as always, but yeah, that was a depressing way to go down. Cheers, Colin.